In this video, as we welcome June 2024, I'd like to brief you on some noteworthy Skyrim mods. Particularly, pay attention to EVG Clamber, slope animations in relation to movement. This mod adds new animations for traversing slopes in Skyrim. When walking or running on stairs, or hills, you'll experience fresh animations. It's truly an impressive mod. Now, both players and NPCs recognize the terrain's incline and use appropriate animations. On slopes steeper than 45 degrees, you'll see brisk steps as if sliding down or laborious steps while ascending, enhancing immersion when climbing or descending hilly terrain. The way it adjusts condition values based on the slope is remarkable. Note that currently these animations don't apply when weapons are drawn, but there's potential for an update to include them even in that state. I wanted to introduce this to you first. Next up is the Follower Interact with Gestures mod. This mod allows followers to interact with each other or nearby NPCs. When using this mod, followers engage in conversations, dance together, and bring more life to the characters. Additionally, the mod provides various dialogue gestures and animations, which enhance immersion in Skyrim by offering different variations based on NPC personalities, social roles, and armor types. It's sure to breathe new life into your Skyrim experience. Next up is NPCs Learn to Aim. This mod enhances individual aiming abilities for NPCs based on their skills when using bows, crossbows, spells, and staves. Each NPC's aiming proficiency varies according to their skill level in these categories. Additionally, the mod provides different levels of difficulty and abilities. Players can also apply this feature to themselves by adjusting detailed INI settings, enabling or disabling aiming abilities for each skill, and fine-tuning accuracy. Overall, it's a great way to make your gameplay more interesting and diverse. In this segment, I'll introduce a few early access mods. First up is Brand New Spellcast. This mod enhances the casting animations for different elemental spells, such as Fire, Frost, and Shock. It leverages newly scripted hotkey skills and a new combat system to create distinct and visually impressive spellcasting motions. Additionally, when you press the block button, it activates the MCO animation. By combining the block button with attacking kit, you can perform various casting motions and unleash dazzling effects specific to each elemental type. Currently in testing, this mod aims to achieve even higher quality based on feedback from multiple testers. Given the anticipation among magic-oriented players, it's likely to gain significant popularity upon its official release. Next up is Power Shot. This mod, currently in development by Smooth, adds a powerful arrow attack to your arsenal. When aiming an arrow, hold the right mouse button while standing still. Your character will crouch slightly, aligning the bow for a precise shot. Once activated, a time stop effect triggers, allowing you to unleash a devastating arrow attack. Notably, this attack has a splash damage feature dealing significant harm to nearby allies or enemies. If you've always felt the lack of a finishing move while using a bow, this mod provides archer players with an additional potent attack beyond sniping. Anticipate its release. Next up is the Definitely Not a Furry Animations, Roars mod. This mod is quite interesting because it enhances the attack animations for creatures like Skyrim's bears, making them more realistic. Instead of the awkward headbutting motions used by bears previously, this mod introduces more plausible attack animations. Following the success of wolf animations, Creator is now working on bear attack motions. He aimed to better capture the robust movements of bears. Although the attacks may feel somewhat weighty, this sensation actually enhances the bear's distinctive personalities. It promises to diversify and improve Skyrim's combat animations so it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. In this segment, we'll introduce outfit-related mods. First up is the Helga outfit by Creator Fuse. This outfit adds a long skirt-style attire. With Fuse's signature elegant design and lore-friendly elements, 
It strikes a balance between vanilla-friendly aesthetics and an elegant, noblewoman-like feel. The outfit is excellent for female characters, and it even supports SMP effects. Next up is the Adventurer's Armor, Remake. This is a revamped version of the beloved original The Adventurer's Armor mod. It consists of two sets, the Scout Armor and the Trailblazer Armor. Notable features include a one-piece outfit and leather boots that evoke an adventurous feel. If you appreciate a somewhat Witcher-esque atmosphere and prefer a lightweight, rugged adventurer look in Skyrim, I recommend trying out this outfit. You can craft it at a forge or obtain it via add it to menu. In this segment, I'll introduce visual-related mods. First up is high-quality ivy for SD's farmhouse fences in Riverwood. This particular mod replaces the fences in the Riverwood area with ones covered in high-quality ivy. It's based on the base object swapper, allowing you to replace fences not only in Riverwood, but also in all other regions. Plus, it's compatible with Seasons of Skyrim. Personally, I find the natural and impressive look of ivy-covered fences quite appealing. If you're also interested in that lush green high-quality ivy, give this mod a try. Next up is 3D Wells Old Style. This mod adds wells with a structure reminiscent of what you might see in medieval movies. The wells are surrounded by stone and rock blocks, designed to provide an authentic 3D effect. You'll experience true 3D immersion without any false perspectives. Additionally, there's a terrace made of rock pieces around the well, and grass covers the ground, making it look fantastic in-game. This mod is compatible with water and enhances both immersion and realism. Next up is Half Faces, Milk Jug Diversification. This mod changes the milk jug into various styles. It uses 4K textures to provide more intricate details. The mod includes different designs that replace the milk jug. Additionally, it comes in a replacer format without an ESP, so you can install or uninstall it during gameplay. If you like it, give it a try. Thank you for watching today's video featuring the must-have new Skyrim mods for the first week of June 2024. If you found these mods exciting and helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and enable notifications to stay updated with our latest uploads. Make sure to grab these fantastic mods to elevate your Skyrim gameplay to new heights. Stay tuned for more awesome content. And until next time, happy modding and happy adventuring.